boom. All right, howdy, kitties. What's up? Been a while since I did a tone on a budget review. And if you'll recall, I, rev I reviewed this thing, this Kramer Beretta Special, a couple of years ago when it first came out. Still have it. Awesome guitar. The only thing I've changed in it now, I replaced the pot. I put a, a U.S. made pot in it. And I initially also changed the uh, capacitor since I pulled the capacitor out. There's no capacitor on this thing. It's just pick up the potentiometer, and that's it. Nothing else. Okay. That being said, all right. What we're here to talk about today is this. This is the Boss Katana 50 MK2. This is a digital modeling amp, and I can't believe that I actually bought a digital modeling amp. Because if you, you know, you know, if you've seen my videos or any of you that know me personally know, I'm a dyed in the wool tube guy. I've got NOS uh, General Electric made in the United States tubes up for sale on Facebook Marketplace, 606s. And you know, I've got a tube amp right behind me for my, my base, my MPEG back here. Um, I, I, I'm a tube amplifier guy. But this thing impressed me. I, I'll say that right off the bat. Um, this thing cost one quarter what the affordable tube combos will cost. And uh, I really could not be any happier. Let me just, before I get into the, the amp and the details on the amp, let me just do a little riff. By the way, this, this thing has a uh, wattage switch. You can do half a watt, 25 watts, or 50 watts. This is set at half a watt. how I'm able to get that that controlled feedback out of there most of your solid state amps you cannot do that with but you can with this thing it's got some uh, tube emulation technology in it that does some pretty cool stuff all right like I said it's got a, it's got a, uh, a wadded switch it has uh, let me go all the way down to the first setting here it has several different amp types the first one is acoustic. I'm just going to crank this pickup and let's see what it does. Okay, that's the acoustic setting. All right, this is clean electric setting. do that with the uh, volume cranked. I want to have the volume on the pickup cranked. Alright. Here's the crunch channel. Alright. 
the lead channel. <laughs> Okay, and then the final one is called Brown. Now for the uh, the EQ, you've got a it's a, a three-way EQ. Um, you've got bass, middle, and treble. I've got the uh, bass is set at about uh, it's between one and two o'clock the middle is straight up at noon and the treble is all the way over at about uh, four o'clock all right there is a booster mod all right to uh, I guess go and crank this thing and it's a it's a two-way switch it's a inner inner and outer uh, or two-way uh, potentiometer it's two potentiometers in one and then there's the uh, FX and delay let's let me let me get the delay up in here. That sounds like an octaver. There you go. Here's another effect. <laughs> Sounds like a phaser chorus or something. Let me turn that down. Thing, uh, let me kill the uh, effects. you have it the Bosch Katana 50 MK2 um, this is the latest version of the Katana amplifier um, there are uh, actually a few different versions of the MK2 these days um, it's uh, got I think two more up this is the basic version um, and then there's uh, two more. There's a 212, there's a 112, and I think they're called the Artist. Now, I've had this little mini for quite a while, and I really like this for, as a, just a little practice amp for sitting around and, and making some noise. This little thing sounds pretty good. I reviewed this a few years back with my uh, Paul Reed Smith guitar. Um, and I've had these for a while, and... This thing, I'm, I'm impressed with it. I cannot believe how good this little solid state amp sounds. So if you're in the market for a you know, rock and roll solid state amp that you can plug your acoustic guitar into, you know, and I think in acoustic mode or, cl or clean, you could probably plug a bass into it too. You probably can't turn it up too loud, but you probably practice a bass through this thing too. You know what? Just for giggles. <laughs> Let's find out. 
I just happen to have some bases here. Let's uh, let's see if you can put a base into this thing. Let's go to clean or yeah, just go to clean. Yeah, let me kill the reverb. Okay, on the clean channel with the gain at noon, it's got some distortion. So let's go to the acoustic channel. Let's see what it sounds like there. I think if you keep the volume down, I think the speaker will probably handle a bass too. But if you crank it, it's uh, it's going to shred the speaker, I'll bet. But you could pl you play a bass through this thing too, which is wow. <laughs> that's uh, that's incredible. Anyway, there you go, the Boss Katana 50 MK2. I hope this has been helpful. My recommendation: this is a go for it. Nice little amp. Very affordable. All right, folks. Have a good day. God bless. Peace.